I'm Dr. Rob Brander and I'm a surf scientist from the University of New South Wales and welcome to the Science of the Surf. In this series we're going to talk about a lot of things to do with the coast. We're going to talk about waves, rips, beaches, rocks, everything you can think of including nasties. And in this first episode we're going to start off talking about waves. Why do we get waves in the ocean, where do they come from and how do they form? What makes waves? Well basically it's simple, it's wind. When the wind blows, you get waves in the ocean. And there's three things about wind that are important. One is how fast the wind blows, two is how long the wind blows for, and three is what is the distance over water that the wind will blow. So the biggest waves occur when the wind is blowing hard, it lasts for a few days, and it's got large distances to blow over. And there's a transfer of energy from the wind into the water itself, and the waves start moving. So how do we describe waves in the ocean? It's actually really simple. And what I'll do is I'll draw a nice little wave in the sand. Now, every wave has a top called the crest, every wave has a bottom called the trough. And the vertical distance between the crest and the trough is what we call the wave height. Now, the distance between that crest and that crest is something we call the wave length. So every wave has a height and every wave has a wave length. Now, let's assume you're standing in the water. The time it takes for that wave to reach you is what we call the wave period. So the wave period is the time between waves. And wind waves have wave periods of about three to eight seconds, and swell waves have periods of about eight to 20 seconds. Now as the wave travels, there's a difference between how the energy of the wave moves and how the water particles move themselves. The shape of the wave, the up and down motion, that's actually the energy moving through the wave. Water particles, believe it or not, are trapped in these circles, these orbital motions underneath the wave. And these orbits get smaller and smaller and smaller as they get deeper until they finally peter out. Now in deep water, waves can actually travel very fast. But once you get into shallower water, those orbits start to hit the bottom and that physically slows the wave down and that's what causes waves to break. So in this episode, we've discussed why we get waves in the ocean, what forms them, how they've traveled away from the wind source, and the different types of waves in the ocean. In the next episode, we're going to focus on what actually happens when the waves break. Why do waves break? What are the different types of ways that waves, waves can break? What are dangerous waves? What are safe waves? There's a lot to talk about because that's what we swim in when we go to the beach. 